What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again, back on a little bit of a road trip. Um, I was told by a couple of friends that there is a game store down in Easton, Pennsylvania um, called the Game Gallery. And so here I am, I'm in the parking garage right now in downtown Easton, uh, parked my car and then I'm gonna head out and walk down to the store and uh, see what we can find and see if possibly if I could take some video inside for you guys. Uh, if not, then I'll just take some still pictures with my phone or something. But um, yeah, I, uh, I did uh, send out a tweet yesterday saying that I was going to be here if anyone wanted to, uh, if anyone lived locally wanted to join me and, and you know, looking for some games. Um, if you guys didn't know that I had a Twitter, um, you can find me at eight, at, at not eight, at AC Card Shark. And uh, you can follow me on there. Every so often I'll be posting where I'll be for looking for games or flea markets or whatever else. So um, that would be the best place to keep up with me uh, live updates. So I'm gonna head out now, maybe take some video around town and then uh, hopefully inside the store. So we'll cut to that now. All right, guys. I, I didn't tape inside the store. The store was was on a small side, so I, I, it wouldn't really be easy to sneak video, so to speak. A lot of the store places don't like you taping, so I did get that shot with my phone of the entrance to the store. I uh, did pick up a mess of games. I've got a bag full right here, um, and uh, I will definitely go through them all when I get to the game room. There was a lot there that I wanted to buy. Um, some of it was a little overpriced. Mostly, it was pretty decent pricing. Uh, they had some really cool complete in box systems, uh, just lots of good stuff. So, um, if you guys uh, live in the area or can get around to, to Eastern Pennsylvania, the game gallery is definitely a place to check out. Uh, we're going to head back to the game room now and I will show you what I got. Alright guys, here we are back in the game room, back from Easton, Pennsylvania. I did pick up a business card, just like I do with the, all the other stores I visited. Uh, if you guys want to write down the information, feel free, it's the game gallery. And if you look right here, they've got the address on Northampton Street in Easton, Pennsylvania. There's their phone number. And you've also got their website, their email address, all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, the game gallery in Easton, PA. I uh, did pick up a good amount of stuff. Um, surprisingly enough, only one Nintendo game. They had, they had a, a decent amount of Nintendo games, um, but I had most of them. Or I had all of them except for one. So I picked up one for three bucks. Uh, the game is called Round Ball, and that's, uh, I believe it's like two-on-two -two basketball. Yeah, two-on-two -two challenge. So it's like a two-on-two -two basketball type game. Um, the one thing I noticed, too, is that they, they, they shrink wrap all their stuff, too. So it's, it's kind of neat. You know, keeps it clean. Uh, he told me they, they clean everything that comes in the store, whether it be on trade or not, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter how it comes in. They, they clean everything, which it does look pretty, pretty nice and clean. But it, it is pretty good shape. For three bucks, I looked it up on the app. It's worth four, so there's a dollar right there that I made. Um, picked up one Dreamcast game. It unfortunately is missing the front cover, um, but this the Dreamcast. I'm kind of like I am with with other things. Like I care about the spine and the display on the shelf, and I love this game. And I just couldn't pass it up. I got it for one dollar. Uh, that is WWF Royal Rumble for the Sega Dreamcast. As you can see, the back cover art is there and the spine is, is in good shape. You can see it on the shelf and everything. So for one dollar, you know, you can't pass that up, so. Uh, and then the other random game I picked up was for the PSP, and uh, they actually, they shrink, they shrink wrap the, the instructions to the outside of the case, which is kind of strange, but um, I picked this up for four dollars. Don't know if that's a good price or not, but don't care, because I wanted the game, so. Um, that's World Series of Poker 2008. Um, as you guys, should remember at some point I got World Series of Poker like the original one. Now I've got 2008 for the PSP. Love to have a portable poker game. It's always always a good time. So I picked that one up. And then surprisingly enough, the system I actually bought the most for was the Sega Master System. And normally it's like a slew of Nintendo and like one or two games for the Master System. Well, I'm getting to the point now where it's harder to find games for the Nintendo that I actually need for my collection. And the Sega Master System uh, I believe the collection was like 220, 230 total total games for the system. I've only got about 25 right now. So it, it's a lot easier when I find Sega Master games to find ones I need than it is uh, the NES at this point. Um, but like I said, I do have the Sega Master System Collector app. Let me see if I can actually bring it up on my phone to show you um, just exactly what it, what it looks like. Because uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about 
what what app I use and everything else. Uh, let me see here. So if you go in right over here, if you take a look, right there you see NES Collector, and right next to it you see Sega Master System Collector, and all my other gaming apps and everything else. Um, but when you go into the 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 app, it has everything listed alphabetically. And on the bottom here, you can see it says all games wanted, remaining, collection, and info. So each tab has has a different thing, like which ones you have left to buy for your collection, which ones you already have. And if you hit the info button, it'll actually tell you right here, I have, what does that say, 26 out of 290, 294, there's your, there's your total. Uh, collection value, $306, your most rare game, your most valuable game, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so obviously, you know, like I said, I just started collecting for the Master System. Um, if you go into my NES Collector app and go to the info, it's a little bit more impressive than the, the Master System. But if I, uh, it, it tends to, t it tends to take its time for a second when you hit the info. Here we go. So here's here's the NES one. You're looking at 556 out of 809. Now the only thing is they include um, PAL versions of games. They include like um, the NES World Championship stuff that I'm not gonna ever have. I mean, I just, I know that I'm never going to have those games. So you really aren't going to get 100% on the app. But uh, it says total, your collection, $4,361, total estimated value, most rare, Operation Secret Storm, most valuable, Bonk's Adventure. And, you know, you can go into the trophy room, and it tells you, uh, it's, uh, this is sorted by most rare, and it gives you all the box art and everything else. Uh, if you go to most valuable, it will obviously do the same thing, but just kind of reorder them. So it's kind of cool. So if, if you guys have uh, an iPhone or some kind of Apple device, um, the NES Collector, SMS Collector, Sega Master System, they also have a Genesis, a Super Nintendo. I haven't paid and downloaded those yet because I haven't really focused on those systems yet. So I'm, I'm still doing my 8-bit thing. So anyway, long story, wrap, wrap right back around to the pickups here. Um, I did pick up six games in box for the Sega Master System. Uh, ultra, ultra stoked. Uh, I'm just going to run through them. They're all sealed. I may pause the video, unseal them, and then show you the insides afterwards, but they are all resealed. Uh, first game up is called Super Space Invaders. And I'm not sure if they have the instructions or not, because like I said, with the World Series of Poker, the instructions were like sealed to the back of it. This doesn't have them, so I'm not sure if they have them or not. It could just be cartridge in there and that's it. But as you guys should know by now, I only care about the case and the cartridge. I just want to make sure that the case is good to put it on the shelf and you can see the spine and see what title you're looking at. And obviously that the game is inside the case. The instructions really are not that big of a deal to me. The NES games I don't buy for the instructions. Why, why would I do it for these? So um, I really don't care much about completing box for this. But, uh, but for five bucks, I picked up Super Space Invaders for the, for the Master System. Um, I picked up, again, I did, no instructions on the back of this thing, could be just cartridge only on the inside, but uh, Kung Fu Kid. Um, not, not the Kung Fu game that you guys know I love, but uh, I'm a big fan of Kung Fu games from back in the day, so Kung Fu Kid for the Master System, just another one I needed. Uh, along the same lines, I did pick up Black Belt, which is for the, obviously for the Master System. This one does have the instructions, as you can see, like sealed and like attached. They kind of like uh, shrink wrap it where you can just tear them off. So I'm, I have a feeling only the, the only ones that have instructions are the ones that actually are physically on the outside. Um, I picked up Rampage for the Master System. Again, can, instructions are are hanging from the back there. Um, Rampage, one of my favorite games from back in the day. Love it on the Nintendo, love the arcade. I'm sure I'll love it on the Master System. So uh, to have that complete in box. And actually, it's the first one with a red case that I have. Everything else is a white case, which is kind of weird. Um, but whatever, it's all good. But Rampage for the Master System. Uh, picked up with instructions. I picked up Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. Uh, the Alex Kidd games can actually run some uh, a decent amount of money. He had three different Alex Kidd games there, um, but it would would have put me over the amount of money I was looking to spend today, and I didn't really want to go over that amount. They also had Bubble Bobble for the for the Master System, and I wanted to pick it up so badly, but my budget today was fifty bucks, and that was 25 for Bubble Bobble, and, and it didn't have the instructions hanging off the back, so I really don't want to pay 25 for, at that point, 25 bucks, I, I better be getting a complete version of the game, so um, I may go back, I, I don't know, I may go back someday and, and get it, but um, anyway, uh, Alex Kidd and the Lost Stars, which I thought was kind of cool because I had the playing cards on the, on the thing, you know, the, uh, where am I, there I am, the playing cards, um, but the playing cards on the, on the cover look kind of cool, so, and based on the app, it was a good price, so. 
And the last game I picked up, uh, the guy, as soon as the guy saw it, that I was buying it, he's like, oh my god, I love this game. It's one of the first ones I played back in the day on the Master System. Uh, it looks fun. I don't, I don't really know what it's about. There's no instructions attached. It does feel kind of heavy that they may be on the inside. But that game is called Penguin Land. And just by looking at it, it just looks like an awesome time. Uh, it's kind of, I don't really honestly know what it is. It just almost looks like a bubble bobble or something. I, I have no idea. Um, you, you have to bring fragile eggs back safely to a home, to home from a foreign land. Uh, and you're a penguin. So, I mean, it, it sounds really, really epic. I mean, it just sounds awesome. So, that's what I picked up, guys, from from the game gallery in Eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll give you a, an overall shot here as soon as I can pick them all up. And uh, you've got the, the Dreamcast game, the Nintendo game, and then you've got all the Master System games and that one PSP game. And yes, I spent $48. Um, I told you my, my budget was 50 bucks to go with today. <clears throat> and uh, with tax, it came to like $50.77 or something like that. So <clears throat> the actual items came out to be $48. Um, I will be doing the research for you guys and looking up the value of everything, doing the total at the end of the video. I already know I made out, uh, you know, getting more than I, what I paid for because I, I looked up all the values up on my apps before I, before I bought them. I did put a couple back because they were overpriced. Um, Paperboy. I would have loved to have bought Paperboy for the Master System, but it was marked like $13, and the app said it was only worth about $10. Again, 3 bucks is not a big deal, but I try to be consistent in not paying over, you know, uh, paying a price that's overpriced for that game. So uh, I did pass it up. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna unwrap all these. I'll cut real quick. I'll show you the insides, show you if whether or not they came with their instructions, and then we'll call it a video. So I will be right back. All right, guys, back. I just uh, opened up all the games. Um... Let's see, the, the ones with the, the instructions attached to the outside, obviously I, I have the instructions, the games are in good shape. There's Black Belt, uh, Rampage is in stellar condition actually, the cartridge looks really, really nice. And uh, I just left the instructions sealed because I'm never going to really use them. So, And then Alex Kidd had it attached as well, and that one also looks really good. I don't know if that's a, a typo or not, but if you look, Alex Kidd the Lost Stars, and if you look at the cartridge, Alex Kidd the Lost Star. And on the outside of the, the actual box, it says stars with a plural, with an S. So I don't know if that's a misprint label or not. I'm not sure. I'll have to look up some information about that. Um, the other games I, that I opened up um, that didn't have them in, uh, included on the back of the cartridge, Kung Fu Kid does not have instructions. But again, in decent shape. I wasn't expecting instructions, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but I did open up some more wrapper on it. Uh, Super, Space in, Super Space Invaders. It does have instructions. It was inside the box, and uh, it's kind of a cool cartridge too. It's white. And the thing I'm most stoked about, Penguin Land. Uh, I didn't think it was um, complete, and I opened it up, and sure enough, it was. So that just makes it go up in value even more. I mean, the fact that it's complete jumps it up one level on the on the value of the, your collector app. So the fact that it came with instructions made it even it just an even better deal. So. Um, I just, you know, am really, really stoked about the whole thing. It's really cool. So like I said, guys, I'm opening a World Series of Poker right now. Uh, the Game Gallery in, in Eastern Pennsylvania is definitely something you, should, you guys should check out if you're a serious collector. Um, the, like I said, the instructions are, were attached to the outside, but there's your, your UMD of World Series of Poker. So um, just, just an absolutely great experience, guys. Um, the guy, I was talking to him, he said he doesn't price gouge, which for the most part he was telling the truth. He had a couple of really good systems complete in box, including an Atari 5200 for 60 bucks complete in box, which I would have picked up if I had more money on me that, you know, for, for shopping today. Um, he has a complete in box, Sega Genesis Core system. I think I saw a NES action set, an NES challenge set, like the uh, power pad set, all complete in box, all for sale. Uh, he has a GameCube with a traveling kit, which was like a silver suitcase and a travel screen for it and everything for like 80 bucks. Uh, you can't beat the prices, guys. It's a pain in the ass to get to, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's it's in downtown Easton, so you have to find a parking garage or park on the street and then walk. It's kind of like a little city-ish down there. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get to than some of the other places, um, but well worth it. So, I mean, like you, like you saw, it was, you know, 48 bucks for all that I picked up today. And uh, we're gonna hit up the the round uh, the roundup, so to speak, at the end and uh, the bottom line, and see how I did. And uh, we'll call it a video. So, guys, till next time. AC Car Shark. Take care.